What changes have taken place in terms of um, employment and turnover and pr uh, productivity, profitability okay. in the business? Okay, I can I can best identify that with some some numbers, uh, and I'll use turnover, which is the obvious one that everybody mm. sort of grip hold of. Um, the year before and during lead, our turnover had plateaued. I think there was a, a variance of a, it went up by. Um, I think it was about 16%, so nothing nothing extensive. Um, however, by the following year, which is then after LEAD had finished, and then we'd implemented a lot of the changes and a lot of the strategies and things that we'd spoken about, our turnover had increased by 50%. Yeah. Okay. Um, similarly, in order to make that happen, our office team went from 6 to 11. Um, our care giver numbers which are the people you know the the, the lifeblood of our business the people mm. that are out there mm. on a daily basis delivering the care um those those numbers doubled as well I um see. so on every sort of normal business uh kpi you could see a huge change which was interesting as well in that that change came about from no like additional big contracts um, so we were doing the same of what we did before, but an awful lot better. Um, we had the same office team as well. So it wasn't as a result of bringing new people in that had mm. more drive and enthusiasm and energy to drive, you know, to, to, to bring this thing forward. Um, and I think that's even more of a indication of the things that we put in as a result of lead that uh, made it made the numbers as good as they were. Um, I think one of the biggest improvements for us, uh, which, again, is not something that is easily quantifiable generally, is this. 2013, while we were doing the, the LEAD programme, uh, we, we ran sorry, a uh, programme called PEAK, which is Pursuing Excellence and Advancing Quality. Um, and it is a questionnaire that goes out to all our caregivers and all our clients. Yeah. Um, and... It's anonymous, but it's it's related to the Swansea home instead. Um, the what we call client advocacy scores, in other words, a number of people that would recommend home instead to another client, was only thirty percent. Okay, so we were actually quite shocked at that. Mm. Bearing in mind, uh, well, perhaps not bearing in mind. Our, our, looking back, our turnover had plateaued; it only gone up sixteen percent, as I said. Um, and client advocacy, in other words, their ability to refer people was mm. only 30%. And we looked at that and we thought, that's, you know, that's ridiculous. We mm. thought we're doing such a fantastic job. Mm. Why aren't more people referring us? Um, by contrast, if you then look at our 2014 numbers, which was as a result of all the changes post-lead that, that we'd implemented and put in place, um, our client advocacy score was 75%, wow. you know, which by anybody's measure is huge mm. change uh, again same staff same team um, so not only did we, do, did we grow financially by 50 percent we actually grew from a point of view of customer satisfaction by double as well okay so you'd, you'd say that the uh, growth in turnover the growth in productivity and the growth in the quality of the product um, was directly through lead um Yes, yeah, I would. Um, Obviously, you implemented all of the changes that yeah. um, you'd thought through, but uh, you, you were given the, I suppose, the um, the food for thought by lead, and, yeah. and then you put that into Absolutely. place. Absolutely, you can take a horse to water, but you know you can't make it drink. Mm. You know, you've got to put it into an organisation that. Um, I think there was there was a coming together of quite a few things that made the lead success such a success. Um, first of all, we were, as I said earlier on, at a level where we were. We needed to transition between a small, you know, sort of family-run business type scenario to more of a corporate. That came at the same time that Lead came on board. Um, you, Lead also uh, was the catalyst in terms of my frame of mind and my mm. desire to move this on. That came together at the same time. Um, but definitely, the uh, the Lead program gave me the time, headspace, to work on the business, not in it. That old adage. Um, and 
the practical sort of space as well with a load of people that were all doing the same thing that were all trying to move their business forward it actually gave everybody a bit of a lot of energy as well for what they were doing some great ideas from other people in the team you know Mm. in the in the cohort um so you stuff all those things together and all of a sudden you know it started to to really explode and and move forward we had to put the hard work in in terms Mm. of you know, office building and uh, strategic development plans and, and all that heavy end thing, you know, that heavy end mental thinking. Mm. But the implementation with all those other aspects is definitely the reason why the numbers have, have done what they've done.